I got this numeric keypad in the mail today from Amazon. I've been working with this 70% keyboard uh, keyboard here that I got uh, a couple months ago and it works amazing. I like the slim style of it and it actually it was a really nice keyboard. I do spreadsheet work uh, every few days or so, um, but I don't need a numpad all the time. And it, you know, I just like to have this area to write here. Um, but I did find that it was kind of a pain to not have a numpad. So I found this on Amazon. It was uh, Amazon Canada, thirty-two ninety-nine, uh, with the coupon. It was thirty bucks. And uh, yeah, so it's a mechanical keyboard, uh, mechanical keypad. It's, but the brand is Moto Speed. I've never really heard of that, but it is what it is. Uh, on Amazon, it says um, mechanical blue switches. Uh, I don't see it anywhere on here, but um, yeah, it says mechanical blue switches, and. Uh, RGB backlight, not that I need that backlight, but I do like the mechanical uh, numpad and it had really good reviews actually. It had a couple hundred reviews, five stars. So let's open this up and have a look at it. There's actually a lot of different brands on there, lots of mechanical brands, um, lots of mechanical keyboards from different brands and they were all kind of no name or like off-brand stuff, but that's fine. So that might just have some shortcuts or something or whatever. Yeah, actually there's some shortcuts in there. Yeah, so there's some kind of, well, I guess that's the lighting adjustment. Some type of warranty. Um, maybe Mandarin, I'm not sure. Here we go. So it has one of those protector things on it. It's just a USB type A. And uh, what? Yeah, that's a, that is not a blue switch. It is, I think it's a mechanical switch, but it feels, this is a brown. Yeah, there's no tactile bump. That feels like a red switch. That's definitely not a blue. Looking at that, um, actually, here, let me turn on the light here, actually. Yeah, it looks like there's actually uh, like a, a red switch or something in there. Let's see if we can pull that off, the keycap. Yeah. <laughs> so um, apparently they shipped me the wrong product. It says right on it, Amazon blue switch, and they sent me a red switch. Um, I guess that's fine. Uh, I mean, I'll use it. I suppose um, it's I guess it's in some ways more similar to the browns that I'm using here um, it'll have that same kind of feel um, but it's it doesn't have the clicky tactile bump and I actually like a tactile bump but for typing but for a numpad um, I mean it's not gonna make a big difference the mechanical feel is still nice you still get that nice response but it's definitely a linear switch um, I don't know what that would be there let's see if I can read that Super hard to read. I'm thinking it's Otemu or Otimu, however you say it. Yeah, it is. So it's an Otemu or Otimu, however you say that. Switch, red. So I guess that's what in it. what's in it. It doesn't say what switch type it is on Amazon, but that's essentially what you're getting with this uh, K24 Moto Speed. There's no way to switch between the two different, like, di different options on Amazon. It says blue, but it's a mistake, I guess. Um, so I don't know, I'll give it a whirl and if it works out, it works out, but it's got a nice, it's got a nice build quality to it. You can raise it up. They didn't unfortunately have a white one to match my aesthetic here, but that's fine. It actually has nice keycaps. Ah, that's hard to get off. It's got nice keycaps, decent printing on that actually too. Yeah, so it's actually pretty crisp. I mean, there's a little bit of like issue with the printing, but I mean, it was $30 or so. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, the printing on that looks nice. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, it looks nice. Uh, it's good weight to it, so it's not gonna slide around. There's your rubber pads on the bottom, so that's fine. It's actually quite sticky. But let's, uh, let's plug it in, give it a test. It 
setting up his gaming keyboard. Okay. So I guess that's the model number. I don't know if you can see that. Or the serial number. I mean, uh, right away it looks like it's lit up. Um, I don't know if it has like different settings in here you can do. Okay, and I'm just looking at the manual here and it looks like there's a quite a few different settings you can do with the lighting effects. So, um, you know, you can turn the uh, side on here. So if you hit uh, function M1, or uh, the function tab button gives it that M1 setting and it cycles through those. Off, a wave effect, red, Okay, you can hit uh, the M2 one here, function, and the slash, then you get M2. Which is the opposite direction. Okay, and that one turns on that there. So you're gonna get this wave effect, which you can increase in brightness, which would be this and up. It's maxed right now. You get the little indicator back here. It's hard to see, but if you hit the max, that'll flash. See that there? Telling me that it's at the max. So you can go down, and then it flashes. Okay, I'm at the max there. So you can see it flashing in the corner under the escape button. That's the minimum. All the way up to max. Uh, what else can you do here? So those are the speeds. You can go through function left. Is that left? Oh yeah, so then this one it will, uh, oops, sorry, it will light up as you're typing, which is kind of neat, I guess. And it's still doing a wave effect underneath because the same key is changing each time. So I guess that lights up the whole thing there. So the first one was the individual key. This is the whole keyboard. Let's hit it again. This one seems to do like a linear cross pattern or something. See, it's doing those ones there. Let's hit it again. This one does like a radiating effect. And I suppose that's static now. Ripple mode. Let's hit it one more time. What's that? That's kind of cool. It's almost like a radiating out, so like a dro water droplet. And that's back to wave mode. I think that's the original. It just stays in a wave. Some kind of snake thing. Somewhat random. Yeah, anyway, so there's lots of different color modes here. These are static colors. So all those are good. Um, you know, you can uh, you can do lots of different things there. Function one uh, puts you into this kind of you know your directional arrow keys. You can still do all these settings in here with that, but um, oh, that's weird. They stay when you do that. Yeah, so anyways, there's like an entire page here of different, like there's actually a lot of different settings in here that you can do. Um, if you're into RGB, I guess this is like a playground. I've actually never seen a keyboard with this many RGB settings. Um, you know, all these side settings you can do, all these. So that's actually pretty impressive. Um, if that's your thing, hit escape and it goes back to default. It actually resets the keyboard. You heard the little bunk sound, whatever. Um, that's good. You can actually... Uh, let's see what mode we're on here. Yeah, so we're on arrow mode. You can hit num and then you go back to just numeric. It's typing numbers on my screen. Uh, and then you can just do that and turn it off. Uh, turn off the lighting. Um, you can turn this off as here, here as well too. And then you, know, you can stick it in the corner and when you want to bring it out, if you want lighting back on, you just go back and hit that little power one there. So yeah, lots of lighting options, I guess. I don't know.
it's not really my thing, but um, I would probably just leave it on a static color when I'm using it if it's dark in the room. Um, you know, just put it on like a static red or something not intrusive just so I can see the keys. I definitely wouldn't have a wave pattern, but that's me. Um, so yeah, anyways, pretty cool. Um, the lighting effects are neat, um, if that's your thing. In terms of the actual keyboard, the typing is quite nice. It's quiet, very smooth, no like grainy texture. It's definitely a nice like red switch. Um, and the device is, it doesn't move very easily. Like I'm picking it up as I slide it. If you actually put weight on it, it doesn't slide at all. Uh, and the build quality is great. Good keycaps and everything. So yeah, I'd say, um, you know, if you want to buy this, go for it. Just be aware that you're actually going to end up with a, uh, a red, even though it says blue on the website, on Amazon at least. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, I don't know if, you know, they, if it was an Amazon problem who sent the wrong type of keyboard uh, or these guys have it mislabeled or the ad is wrong but just be aware of that if you're trying to get a blue switch uh, mechanical blue um, even though it says it on the website you're gonna end up with a red in my case um, I won't return it because I'm actually fine with it it's kind of similar to the Browns just without the tactile bump and uh, you know I don't need a tactile bump on a keyboard so I'm actually gonna probably keep this it's fine for what it is um, rather than returning it for the blue switch which would actually just be noisy anyway so anyways thanks for watching